Welcome to the ACC Student News. The news students can use. I'm Sky Flores. And I'm Justin Cole, and here are this week's stories. Early Wednesday morning, 19-year-old former Portage High School student entered the building behind a group of students that were buzzed in. He was carrying hundreds of rounds of ammunition, ski masks, gloves, and binoculars. Although he was not armed with any weapons, further investigation revealed that dynamite and multiple guns were hidden in his grandmother's home. City police were called to the school at approximately 10.30 a.m. He was arrested for trespassing and public intoxication due to his having been under the influence of LSD. Security footage is still pending review. Early Childhood and on Skills USA, they have five state qualifiers that are going to nationals. They attend nationals June 19th through the 23rd. Health did a great job at HOSA too. To move on to nationals, they had to place first through third against 48 states and eight countries. They will have about 15 students going to nationals. They attend nationals in Orlando on June 21st through the 25th. Congratulations to Sierra Stepanovich on winning first place in dental science, which earned her a $12,000 scholarship. Last year, she placed six internationally. This is definitely an improvement from last year. The industrial accident that occurred on Friday at the Whiting Standard Oil Refinery Power Distribution Center left four workers injured. The extent of the workers' injuries is unknown at this time. The Standard Oil Refinery converts crude oil from Canada's and Dakota's into gasoline that is sold in seven states across the Midwest, and it is the largest in the Midwest. Standard Oil has not disclosed the details of the incident, but the company says there is no impact on the city beyond the city gates. Whiting Mayor said the Whiting Fire Department was not called out and the refinery responded to the accident internally with their own fire department. Recently, scammers are posing as NIPSCO employees and threatening utility customers throughout Northwest Indiana. They are harassing customers, threatening to cut their electricity if bills aren't paid in full immediately. Via Visa gift card that would be purchased at local CVS pharmacies, NIPSCO responded that it would never have customers pay bills with prepaid gift cards and never in any situation harass or threaten customers in such a manner. Neither would they call customers for payments. Notices would be sent instead. And that's all we have for this week. I'm Sky Flores. And I'm Justin Paul. And please be sure to check us out on YouTube and Twitter at ACCTV Hammond. We'll see you next week.